Good morning, church family. I hope you have had a wonderful week, and I hope that you are ready for worship this morning. This morning, we're going to be talking about an awesome Bible story. It comes out of 2 Kings chapter 4, and it's in verses 1 through 7. And it's Elijah helps a widow and her son. So today in our Bible story, the need was great. The widow of a friend of the prophet Elijah owed so much money that creditors were threatening to take her sons to be slaves. Now, to help you understand what a widow is, a widow is someone who has lost their husband. Their husband has died. Um, back then in the Bible times, the husband was the one who worked and made the money. So when he died, there was no more money coming in. So the bills started piling up and she was unable to pay them. So back then, if you couldn't pay your bills, oftentimes um, their families had to work off the debt. So they were going to take her sons to be slaves so that he could, so that they could work off the debt. So this morning, I want you to pause and I want you to think: What do you think might have been some of the thoughts running through that widow's mind, and what might you have done if you were that widow? So the widow went to Elijah and told him about her needs. She reminded Elijah that her husband had been a man who loved God. He loved God so much. And Elijah asked her, what do you have in your house? Now, why do you think he, Elijah wanted to know what she had in her house? Why do you think that was important to him? The woman told Elijah that all she had was a little bit of oil. A little bit of oil. Maybe even less than this, but that was all she had in her house. That was all she had. Now, before we go on in the story, let's talk a little about oil and Bible times. See, oil back then was used for so many different things. Sometimes it was used um, like a perfume. Other times it was used to rub on the skin to keep the um, skin protected become, from becoming too dry in the desert heat. Other times it was used kind of like we use a candle they would soak the wick in the oil and it would burn and it would give them light so it would light up their house and they could use it at nighttime they also used oil in their food kind of like we do we still use oil in our food they would use it to make bread they would also use um, season they would also season the oil and they would use it um, the way we sometimes use butter so oil was very important um, so I want you they also used oil as a me as medicine they would put it as an ointment on their skin so that it would heal, um, often the same way that we use Neosporin. So oil had many uses. So knowing all these things and all the uses for oils, how valuable do you think the oil was? How important do you think the oil was? See, oil was something sometimes used as money, but the widow only had a tiny bit of oil, like this, just a little bit. That's not much. Um, what if she used it for medicine? What if she used it to cook? What if she needed it um, to soothe her dry skin? What if she needed it to light her house? She needed that oil. And, but that was all she had. She was probably saving a little bit of oil to when she really, really needed it. Because again, she had no money. She already owed a lot of money. So it wasn't like she could go buy mo more oil. So she was holding on to that oil for something that she would need. Elijah told the widow to send her sons to collect all the jars they could find. So that's what they did. Then Elijah told the woman to start pouring the oil um, from her little jar into all the containers the boys brought home. She filled one jar and then another and then another until every single jar was full. She ran to Elijah and told him what had happened. So what do you think? Why do you think Elijah told her to do that? Why do you think he told her to do that? And it goes on to say, Elijah told her to go and sell the oil, pay her bills, and live on the rest of the money. See, God met this widow's needs in a miraculous way. In Psalms 37, 25, it says, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsake or their children beg for bread. God cares for those in need. See, God cared for the widow and he took care of her the same way he takes care of us. He cares for our needs and he takes care of us. And that is so important to know that God cares and he takes care of us. So that's an awesome story that shows how God just takes care 
of us. So next time you look at oil, I want you to think about that story and think about how God provided for that widow that she was able to take this little bit of oil that she had and poured into many, many jars and it was overflowing. I mean, so many jars and all she had was this little bit of oil and it just went so far and she was able to sell it to pay the bills so that her sons didn't have to become slaves. It's just an awesome way, um, story that shows us that God cares for our needs. So this morning, um, I want us to make something that will remind us of that. Um, now, I sent this to your parents earlier in the week, so go ahead and get your paper out. Go ahead and get your markers ready, and um, we're going to color those. Go ahead and color that in, and then once you get done coloring, I want you to cut it out. And once you cut it out, we're going to um, take it and we're going to put it together, and it's just going to work just like this. And see how the oil just keeps going into these jars as she's pouring it in there. And this is just a craft to remind you um, that God cares for our needs. And he will take care of us the same way that he took care of this widow and blessing her with the oil so that she could fill all those jars. So as you make this, just remember that God cares for you and he cares for those who are in need and that he will take care of us. So I hope that you have enjoyed this Bible story. I hope that it has encouraged you. And above all, I want you to know that God cares for you and that he cares for the people in need and that he loves you more than anything. And I just hope that you hold on to those truths this week. Um, let us pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you um, for all that you do for us, Lord. We thank you that you care for us, that you care for those in need, Lord. And we thank you that you love us no matter what. And that you sent your son to die on that cross for us, Lord. We just thank you for that. We love you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful week. And I will see you here again next week. Bye.